For today's short devotional, I'm going to read to you from Acts chapter 1, verses 4 and 5. Here's what we read. And being assembled together with them, Jesus commanded them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, which, he said, you have heard from me. For John truly baptized with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. Again, that's Acts chapter 1, verses 4 and 5. Right before he ascended to heaven, Jesus spoke to his disciples and gave them important instructions. First, he commanded them not to depart from Jerusalem. Jesus had nothing else for the disciples to do other than to wait for the coming of the Holy Spirit. Here he called the coming of the Holy Spirit the promise of the Father. Jesus knew that they could do really nothing effective for the kingdom of God until the Holy Spirit came upon them. Jesus commanded them to wait. You see, to wait means that that promise is worth waiting for. To wait means that they had a promise that the Holy Spirit would come. To wait means that they must receive the Spirit. They couldn't create an experience themselves. And to wait meant that they would be tested by waiting, at least a little bit. It is significant that this coming, filling, and empowering of the Holy Spirit is called the promise of the Father. Even though there is a sense in which this was now also the promise of the Son, there is meaning in the phrase, the promise of the Father. It shows that we should wait for it with eager anticipation. Listen, a promise of the Father can only be something good. Secondly, it shows that it is reliable. The Father would never promise something that he wasn't going to fulfill. Third, it shows that the promise belongs to all his children, since it comes from God as our Father. And it shows, because it is a promise, that it must be received by faith, as is the pattern with the promises of God throughout the Bible. Jesus clarified this promise when he added this, you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit. The idea of being baptized is to be immersed or covered over in something. Even as John baptized people in water, so these disciples would be immersed in the Holy Spirit. And when would it happen? As Jesus said, right before he ascended to heaven, he added, it would happen not many days from now. Now, they knew that this promise of the Father would come, but not immediately. It would be days from now, but not many days. Jesus had a purpose in not telling them exactly when it would come. And one purpose of this, I'm not going to say it's the only purpose, but one purpose was so that they would wait for it with expectant faith. So we should have expectant faith regarding the outpouring of the Holy Spirit in our life, and we should have it today.